I was thinking how it, in our lives there's what I would call the truth channel. The truth channel. What is truth? We say it's design and control. Design relating to the pattern of things in a moment, in space. And control relating to how the design unfolds over time. To live a creative life, we have to become masters of design and control, masters of truth, not, not making truth and mastering it in that sense, but learning to live in a way that allows the truth to come through. Not truth in the sense of some dogma or belief, I'm not talking about that kind of truth. I'm talking about the, the living truth, the truth of reality, the truth of what's real. To allow the truth of what's real to come into being and bring life, we have to tune into a higher intelligence. Higher intelligence brings life, does it not? Or as Jesus said, it's liberating. The truth makes you free when you know the truth. It makes you free. You think of that statement he made, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you, you free. So often thought of in religious terms, as, there's, as if there's some kind of religious dogma that you've got to know. You shall know the truth. This truth, and that truth, that, that belief, that dogma is going to make you free. Did dogma ever make you free? Not me. Um, but when you see what he was saying in terms of reality, the truth of what is real, and you shall know the truth of what is real, what an amazing statement. You're going to know the truth of what is real. I'm adding that phrase for sake of keeping it in the range that I... I understand to be true. I know to be true. What a promise to make. And you shall know the truth. And it, when you do, as you do, it makes you free. Free to be who you are. Free to create. Free to be alive. There's the other side of it all. When you don't know the truth. When you're living in ignorance, unconscious, as Gary was speaking of. You're not particularly free, and you don't feel very alive. So, in the truth channel, there is that awakening to higher intelligence and letting it come through. But that's not actually enough. It's not actually enough. If you just awaken to a higher intelligence and don't do anything about it, it doesn't change your life. If you don't know truth in a way that's relevant to your life, so we are talking about the truth of reality, the truth of the life that we lead and everything in it. So if you don't do something about that truth, if you don't do something more than just become aware of it, if you don't act on it and then bring it into to your world, the truth channel isn't complete. There are two poles to that axis, if you will. It's a vertical axis, axis of truth. On the one end is becoming aware of higher intelligence the higher intelligence relative to your life and the world that you're living in. But then, that guidance has to come through you. It has to govern you and then govern what you're bringing into the world. And then for us collectively, for this really to work, it's not enough to 
sit here in some state of collective awareness or collective enlightenment and feel you know, gratified that we've entered that enlightened state. We have to have the ability as human beings to allow that higher intelligence to govern in the culture in which we live, to govern how we relate to each other, to govern the pattern that's unfolding among us, to create a design, if you will, a constellation among us that is beautiful, that has synergy in it, and power to it that, har- that allows us to harmonize together. Harmonize, first of all, with this higher intelligence that we're touching, but then harmonize with each other in bringing it into the world. 